My name is Alan Hawes, and this is PSOC 101. In the last project, we created a chain of toggle flip-flops that formed a two-bit binary counter. As you press the button, it counted up and changed the state of the output pins accordingly. There is actually a component that can do all of that for you and save a lot of wiring. It's also a great way to introduce you to the concept of wire buses. First, make a copy of the flip-flop project and delete all of the flip-flops. We only want the pens and the inverter. Search for and add a basic counter from the component library. Set it up to be two bits wide and place a logic high component on the enable so it will just run and a logic low on the reset. Lastly, connect the inverted switch signal to the clock input of the basic counter so that it will count button presses. Now we need to wire our 2-bit output to the red and the green LEDs. You'll immediately notice that the wire is really thick. This is because the basic counter output is a bus. It's actually a pair of signals that are grouped together. When you wire it to the LED pins, you get errors about mismatched sizes. To address that, right-click on the wire and select Edit Name and Width. In the dialog, we want to manually name the wire, so uncheck the first box. Then uncheck the name box because we still want the tool to choose a wire name. All we want to do is tell PSOC Creator that we want to pick one of the signals from the bus. Click on the Bit Radio button and it chooses Bit 0. Then close the dialog and repeat this for the wire that goes to the green LED. This time, change the bit number to 1 and grab the other signal on the bus. That clears all of the errors and adds the bit number labels to the wires. You can move the labels around relative to the wires in order to make things look nice and neat. If you get errors about having no input on the pin underscore blue, it's because you had previously enabled a hardware connection on that pin and you're not driving it in the design. Simply open the pen customizer and uncheck the hardware connection box to clear the errors. When I program the kit, it toggles through all of the colors, just like before, but the schematic is clearer and easier to read. Recreate this design for yourself and then extend your design into a 3-bit counter that drives all three LEDs. Once again, be sure to make sure that the blue LED has a hardware accessible pin this will enable you to connect it to the counter. As always, you are welcome to email me at alan underscore hawes at cypress.com.